Yes, I know it is super convenient to buy and sell on eBay. However, I'm not going to be talking about buying cards on eBay in this video. I'm going to be talking about selling cards in this video and why eBay fees deter so many people, myself included, from selling on eBay. Stick around. So on the screen here, I'm going to be looking at my phone, but you're going to be seeing pictures of it on your screen. Here's a Bo Nix Bowman uh, Bowman Chrome first from last year's Bowman University. It's a very nice card, nice auto. And I sold this card on eBay for $30. And I got the, the breakdown all right here. So the item price was 30. That's what I sold it for. I actually took an offer to be honest. The shipping and handling was $5, pretty standard for sports cards. And the sales tax was $2.40 resulting the total to be $37.40. That's fine. That's what the buyer paid, $37.40, sales tax, the shipping, and of course, the card. So here we have a breakdown of what I'm going to be walking away with. The final value fee is $4.96, $4.96, which is 37.4 times eBay's fee rate of 13.25. And I'm also going to be losing 30 cents on top of that for a fixed amount. So the grand total of fees I'm going to be losing out on is $5.26. Now that is going to be a grand total of $29.74. So that's how much I'm walking away with from this order is $29.74. Again. Okay. I mean, $30.00. It turned out to be, it was 37, then it ends up being 29.74. But this is the thing, this is the thing that really, really bugs me. On this picture that I'm showing you guys right now, it says this amount only includes the item subtotal and shipping. It doesn't include any taxes or fees. Now I wanna know why I'm getting dinged on fees for shipping eBay knows that shipping is either going to be paid by myself or it's going to be paid by the buyer. And in this case, I had the buyer pay $5 for shipping. Again, really standard stuff here. So I was just oh so confused and puzzled on why it why I'm walking away with $29.74. So why does it say the fees are based on $37.40 if taxes is supposed to not be considered into the formula. Why am I getting 13.25% taken away from me on 37.40 when realistically I should be only getting dinged on $35. I mean, the shipping fee, whatever. I mean, I shouldn't even get eBay feed on that, but I mean, it's just like, ah, it, it, again, it's, it's $5 at the end of the day, a little over $5, five and a quarter. But that compounds. What if I was to sell a hobby box for $300, which I've posted a few reels about hobby boxes now being on eBay. I have a, a couple high-end cards and some low to mid-end cards on eBay as well. And I'm going to lose so much money out on those and being a small business. You know, it's taken a huge chunk out of the profit margin. And for those that sell on eBay watching this video, I'm sure you guys know and understand that if you sell a card for $10, you're not getting that $10. You sell a card for $100, you're not getting that $100. So guys, let me know down in the comment section below, how do you feel about eBay's fees? Are there any ways around this to either lower the rate in any way? Let me know, I definitely wanna hear because I am starting to put some more and more things on eBay just to broaden the shop's reach and horizon of who it can serve. But I mean, when fees are gonna be looking like this, when it says I'm not gonna get feed on taxes but i am when i'm getting feed on shipping when i shouldn't be it's just really annoying that's why i prefer in person buying selling and trading at the end of the day but that's going to do it for this video guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you enjoyed today's video i've queued up an excellent video right here for you guys that i do believe is going to be excellent for your hobby endeavors hopefully i'll see you in that one